I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel. But how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. This isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. So, you'd better appreciate this. You risked your life for that dusty old skull? No, oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm gonna exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Is a wither skull worth that much? <laughs> Are you kidding? For all the trouble I had to go to get it, I should be asking for much more. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still... It's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. You want me to come with you? Consider it my charitable act for the day. I'll consider it whatever you want me to consider it. So long as I get to come. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden mortise did it. You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Here we go. Jackpot. Just place the pieces on the table. See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Ah, oh, man. Looks like Lucas and his ocelots won again. Sorry, Jesse. But you've got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him. Just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around. No matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. I don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. How about a lecture on the power of my fists? It's short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. <laughs> Creepers. <sighs> This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. All right, let's jump.
It burns. It burns. Don't you know? You dive into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Or anyone. Sure, I'll let you handle it. And if you want to be really useful, try to look intimidating. Like this? I'm less scared of you than scared for you. Jesse. And Petra? Hey. You all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Poor Reuben. What happened to his eye? We had a little run-in with some zombies. They whacked him good. But Reuben held his own. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider bait if she hadn't have found me. I gotta admit, I'm pretty bummed they won. Again. I mean, there's no way we were gonna let you go after Reuben by yourself, but... It's okay to be a little disappointed, right? Or like, a lot disappointed? The saddest of the sad sacks? Cheer up, guys. We'll get them next year. I don't know, Jesse. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is sad. Hey, if at first you don't succeed, then, uh... Succeed later than originally planned. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right. The thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were gonna head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay, new plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. But then why would he be late? Something about this feels off to me. All of my secret deals feel off. That's why I usually keep them a secret. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. <coughs> ah! And just who are you? I'm waiting. The name's... Jesse. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now! Well? You're the guy who needed a wither skull, right? Not so loud, you idiot! Too many people know my business already. Do you have the skull? Uh... Well... You do or you don't? You'd better not be toying with me. Petra has it, and she'll be back any minute now. Well, as long as she's bringing it. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to wait a minute longer. Uh, well... Ivor! Ah, here she is. Sorry I'm late, but good things are worth waiting for. I've got what you ask for. If... You have what you promised us. You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. I'm cool if he's cool. It's settled then. You're both cool. Proceed then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. Uh, 
This isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. I can't believe that guy got one over on me. Let's go after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Or you'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? We lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. There he is! Gabriel! Gabriel! Step aside, please. I have just one question. Hold all your questions until after the keynote. The keynote sold out. Hold all your questions anyway. You guys big Gabriel fans or something? Too bad it's sold out. What's up? What's up? Nothing. What's up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? I just said, nothing. I'm sorry you guys didn't win this year. It might have turned out pretty cool. If it hadn't, you know, burned down or whatever. You know that stunt your friend pulled really hurt my pig. Okay, maybe, but I had nothing to do with that. Besides, he looks just fine to me. The black eye makes him look tough. Hey, you didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Oh, everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. Not if you know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. I appreciate it. So, uh, we're cool? Yeah, we're cool. Cool, cool. Too cool for school. Coolness. Ha. <laughs> see you later, Lucas. Yeah, see ya. I'm looking for someone. Kinda tall, kinda mysterious. Hypnotic eyes and a devilish smile. Oh, no, no, not you. Not you. No, I'm looking for a creepy guy with a beard. Nothing starts the party off right like a great DJ. <laughs> Thought you could just wiggle right out of that trap, didn't you? Well, wiggle as much as you want. You're not going anywhere. Axel, listen up. Any chance you've seen a creepy looking beardy guy anywhere? No. Petra told me what happened. I'm keeping an eye out for him. Okay, so I got a little distracted. It's just this machine presses all my buttons. Unnecessarily complicated, mean to birds for no reason. It's just, when something like this calls, you gotta answer. But I swear, as soon as the demonstration is over. We really need your help, Axel. If we don't find this guy soon, we might never find him. I was looking, I just got distracted. All right, all right, I'll look. After I watch one more chicken get owned. Ha! Huh. I see you now, weirdo. Well, if it isn't Team Trash Bag, that was your stupid pig. I hear intense heat causes brain damage. I don't know when, I don't know how, but someday, far in the future, when you're least expecting it, we will get our revenge. Whoa! I was just joking! Jeez! Yeah? Well, I wasn't. Hey! Where do you think you're... What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Get away from me! I said I was sorry. 
Ruben, where'd you wander off to? Get your pork chops here, fresh off the bow. Nothing sticks to your ribs quite like a juicy pork chop. Ruben! What's the big idea? I'm trying to run a business here. That's my pig. You kidnapped my pig. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. I found this pig wandering alone in the street. Not the fattest pig I've ever seen. Well, he should cook up real nice anyway. Please. He's my friend. To me, he's inventory. I might be amenable to some kind of trade. Not that you look like you've got much of value. <laughs> I gotta get some kind of return on my investment. Give me back my pig. All right, you little maniac. Fine. Take him. He's yours. Come on, Reuben. I'm sorry, Reuben. I was so busy trying to find that creepy dude, I didn't notice. <laughs>